Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you how you can export things uh, for print with Harmony Premium. Now, there are a couple of ways, but there's a little technique, a little trick I figured out, and I'm going to show you that. Also, Tony Teach is turning 50. Well, not exactly. Actually, I'm turning 50. Um, and to celebrate that, I'm going to be throwing out uh, some crazy discounts, but more on that later. Anyway, so we have our character camper here. And what I want to show you is right now the scene is set up. If we go to scene settings, um, this is at 1920 by 1080. Um, and it's doing a default camera pixels and it's showing what the default setting is and everything. That's great. So I'm going to cancel that for now. So the trick I want to do, I want to use this for print. I want to use this for actually uh, doing some t-shirts and the sizes are very specific. They're pretty large. So normally when you're working on things, it's, um, it's only uh, like 72 T 72 DPI is what you're thinking about. But let's zoom in here. So camper is a vector and we've got that size going on. But one thing I want to do, I want to grab my camera. Let's go to my top view for a second. I want to zoom in on camper, just kind of mainly make it about her face. Bring this in closer. Like she's staring at you, dog. Okay. All right. That looks good. So this is what I want to be the main focus. Um, so now I'm going to take a look at the node view and what I need to look at is the right node down here at the bottom. And again, this is not in the essentials. This is me doing this in harmony premium. So what I want to do is I want to export a ping file. Um, but before I do that, problem is this is not going to be the size that I need it at. So what I need to do, I've already zoomed camper in as large as I want her. So what I want to do here, I'm going to go to my library one, make right to modify. And let's take this first little key here. Um, keep in mind, we've zoomed our way in here. Um, I think I'm going to drag her here and it's going to call her print camper print. And hopefully I did this the right way. And if not, I'm going to be showing you the wrong way. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to make a new document. And I have already set up some templates here, like Printful as well as Rage On. Those are two different um, shirt companies. Let's take a look at Rage On for a second because that's a note we're going to be using. I set up a width of 8,058 by a height of 6,000. And I'm just going to call this Camper T shirt. All right. And I'm going to click on Create. Now, I don't need to save the previous thing. Ah, maybe I do. All right. So in theory, I'm going to have a new document here. I'm going to zoom out. And if I go over here, one, I'm going to get rid of the drawing. Now, if I did this the right way, camper print, I can drag this over. Okay. And it's asking for all these extra colors. Yes. Now here's the thing. Um, I did zoom in with the camera, but that's not important. The important thing is this was set up originally at, we um, saved her out of 1920 by um, 1080, but she came over here in this gigantic file and she's still just as tall, which is kind of cool. Um, so, I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm going to undo that. 
and let's open up our previous document again. All right, well, at least one close to it. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to drop in a keyframe real quick, F6. Now, it doesn't matter exactly that this isn't the same image. What I wanna do this time is I'm going to actually scale camper, not move the camera, And because I feel like being extra difficult, let's move her arms close to where they were earlier. And shift B. Shift B again, let's give her a different hand. Where's that sword? There it is. All right, press B, bring that down a little bit. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I've scaled her, not the camera, but I've scaled camper. So what I can do, let's go back over here, right to modify and let's do camera or camper print two. All right. Okay, now again, this size is scene settings. Where are we at? Um, 1920 by 1080. So, um, so I'm gonna make a new document. And again, I've got Rage on. Um, and of course you can, I've set these up. These aren't automatically there. I've made my own little, um, Templates here. Camper T. All right, we'll create. Don't save there. All right, I'm gonna zoom that out. Let's go to our other little guy. And so we'll bring over camper print two. And there she is, dropped in exactly where we needed her to be. Excellent. Now, again, here, the scene settings are ginormous. So even at 200%, it's, it's pretty much huge. So what I wanna do now, let's go to, don't have to worry about the camera, but what I do wanna look at, let's take a look at the node view. Um, I don't need to worry about anything here just yet, but because it's bugging me, I'll click on down, organize the nodes, click yes, great. All right, so that looks a little bit better. What I need to find is the right node, not R-I-G-H-T, but W, there we are way over there in a the corner. Okay, so right node, I'm gonna click here. And the right node by default, the drawing type is set up as a TGA. What I want is actually a PNG. And not just any PNG, I need PNG four because I want the background transparent. All right, that is important. All right, so the drawing folder is called frames. I could technically make one called to, matter of fact, let's do this real quick. Let's go to choose. And instead of camper t-shirt, there's that. I'm gonna make a new folder and I'll just say to underscore print. So I know what that's for. I'm gonna click on choose. We got a PNG four, that's good. And we'll close it out. Um, the cool thing about this is, what if I think, you know what, I need not only a PNG, but I also need a JPEG. So I can actually copy this right node, Command C, Command V, and we'll bring this over here. And here, that's also going to print, and so we can say, uh, give me, See if we can find a JPEG. There we are. 
Okay, it's going to look weird because JPEG is going to have a trans, or it's not a transparent background there. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be all black, but you'll get the picture. So we'll click on close and I'll come over here and do export render right nodes. Do I need all frames? No, of course not. I'm just doing this one frame. And the cool part about this is if you're doing t-shirts, imagine that you've set up several frames, several different poses, and so you can export all those frames. So I'm just doing frames uh, one to one. We'll click on OK. And that'll go ahead and export out. Now, depending on how complex uh, the piece is that you're doing, it may take a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. But the beauty of this is uh, you're working with um, not really having to scale anything per se, but once you've actually saved out your character, no matter how small it is, like if it's in vector, if you drag that template into a large document, it's automatically gonna size up, which is kind of cool. So what I wanna do now, I'm gonna jump over to Chrome here. And by the way, I actually found out about Rage On from um, a colleague of mine, Mr. Marcus Williams. He does some incredible work. And I first got attracted to this because they can do these all over t-shirts, which is kind of awesome. So anyway, I'm come over here. And what I want to do is click here to see if I can bring in my document. And it's looking at my recent places, which is good. So there's my final JPEG. I don't need the JPEG. I do want the PNG though. So click there, click open. And here is Camper on the shirt. So I can actually just scale her. Um, and if, the, if I brought this in at a smaller DPI, that would be an issue. Um, but cool thing about this is we can drag this pretty freaking large. Oh, that's kind of cool. The blade like lands on the arm. Um, and there's even like this little scale at the bottom there. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like that. But yeah. There we are, and the deal is I can do that because the actual um, file is so freaking huge. So yeah, there's Camper um, blown way up on a t-shirt. Um, and I can come up here and let's say, I make that standard, and they're saying the base price would be 25 bucks. Okay, not, not too bad. So yeah, I may have to actually order that, that looks Kind of flipping cool. So imagine um, any character you've animated, you know, just kind of exporting that out. And there's no more jumping through hurdles, going to Illustrator or Photoshop and trying to figure out DPIs. No, go ahead and set up your different templates inside of Harmony um, and set up your, your different scene settings. And whether it's for print, like going to a book or like I'm doing this kind of working with t-shirts, you can use this practice. Last but not least, uh, let's talk about me. <laughs> so uh, Sunday, September 9th, I turn 50. Yay me. Um, so in celebration of that, uh, we have one, shut down our, uh, we have shut down our, what is that called? Our self wise store and um, we're only on Gumroad right now. So if you go to our Gumroad store, uh, we've got several of our things, our newest training, uh, turnaround rigs and harmony essentials, as well as camper, um, the anatomy of a 30 second short there, as well as animate to music. Uh, all of these are on sale right now, but you have to use the discount discount code Tony's 50. Okay. And what does that get you? Uh, I'm releasing 50 coupons because I'm turning 50. Um, but 
each one of these you can get for ten dollars each so i only have 50 coupons so ten dollars each once they're gone they're gone so between now and september 9th you can catch you can catch these for 10 bucks so whichever comes first if all 50 coupons go in a day that's going to be it um if september 9th hits and like there's still coupons left i've got to shut that down because yes tony like still has to pay rent so um anyway ten dollars each uh coupon code is tony is tony's 50 and i've got the links down in the description as well as um the little cards that are popping up so anyway check that out share with friends um yeah, if you notice how slow my computer's moving, I need to grab a new one. And Apple's rumored to come out with a new Mac Mini. Yay! Anyway, I'm rambling. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.